something hey guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're just seeing my face for the first time welcome my name is Kels. i am a makeup artist in lagos nigeria do well to follow me on instagram at kel shadow studio and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for keeping up with me in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my updated makeup routine if this is something you like to see don't go anywhere So I already have my brow brows carved and I already applied my toner. So what's left for me to apply, ap apply is my moisturizer. So I went in with my snail mousseine which I massaged deeply into my skin. After which I went in with aqua grip primer. And I just massaged that deeply into my skin using my beauty blender then i used my stemat remel for selected areas of my face applied it to my t-zone and my brow to keep those areas matte after which i went in my mirror skin prep for my brows and some parts of my face to keep it extra matte for my foundation i used the laurel true match in n9 the beauty foundation in maroon and super stay in truffle spread my entire face with kids beauty setting spray for easy blending so to blend i'm using the white glam beauty blender to blend in my foundation for contour i use the nuban cosmetics foundation to contour my face after which I went in with a cream blush using my eye magic palette. Then after blending in the all products to my face, I then went in with my mauve setting spray to lock in my makeup to highlight my face i went in with the tarte concealer and nuban concealer i'm actually a mixologist and since i started mixing i haven't stopped mixing products so i'm just blending in my highlight here so you don't see any harsh lines or where i applied my products To set my entire face, I use the Rumerac Cosmetics in Nutmeg to set my highlighted areas. After which, I just went in with my powder to set my highlighted areas. Then for my contour, I went in with a powder two shades darker than my skin tone. Then I contoured my nose. After which, I went in with my powder blush for my Juvia's Cosmetic Palette. To powder my entire face, I went in with my V Beauty Powder in Cream Caramel to powder my entire face. To bake my face, I used the Mira Cosmetic Setting Powder in Nutmeg. This setting powder is the absolute truth. So I already drew my brows off camera. You can check my other videos to check how to draw your brows. After which I just set my entire eye area using my powder shade. I wasn't going to do something much. I just want something really light on my eyes. And I lined my eyes with the Mabrook eyeliner. 
then to smoke out my under eye i use the blossom afro cheek palette to smoke out my under eye and i'm just removing the excess powder the excess setting powder on my face as i am done baking After powdering my entire face, I just reapplied my blush on my face so it is more visible. Then I just sprayed my entire face using my morph setting spray. And then I went in with my Creolan fixing spray to fix the entire makeup. I lined my lips using the dark shade in my Eye Magic Lip Palette. I was trying to achieve a pinkish nude lips so i just lined my lips with a dark shade Then I glossed my old lips. I mean, we're in the season of gloss. Why not just gloss my old lips? After glossing my lips, I went in with my Hagar Nesta highlighter. Then I reapplied my Blossom Under Eye Mascara so my eyes will be popping. So this is the finished look. If you enjoyed watching this tutorial, please click the, click the subscribe button, like this video, don't forget to comment and share. It is another kind of tutorial that you want me to do. Please let me know in the comments. I have come to the end of this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.